What's up guys, good morning, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So I'm actually here today to explain how to follow Atkins diet because a lot of people don't really understand exactly what that means and I still get questions each and every single day. So I think the single most important thing is get anything that you knew about nutrition, put it in a ball and throw it in the garbage, okay? I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, anything that you were taught is probably the complete opposite of what you're going to learn. So just go into this extremely fresh and think like it's the first day. The biggest thing that you want to remember is that you will be restricting your carbohydrates. The other thing that you need to remember is that you're not going to die because of this. Most of us have an unhealthy relationship with carbohydrates. Now, I will not say that that's going to be for everybody. I will not say that if it fits your macros works for everybody. I will not say a fast food diet works for everybody. I will not say that keto or paleo or any of those other things work for everybody because that is completely false. What works best for you is probably what's going to give you the best results and also what is the most sustainable for you over time. Now, understanding that Atkins or a low carbohydrate approach where you go into a state of ketosis is not going to be forever. It's probably one, going to be the single most important thing that you understand. You will not be in this state of ketosis forever. Some people do stay there. I actually like the video when it was like that. Well, that's a little bit bright, but I'll turn that off. Um, so when you go into the state of ketosis, you're going to stay there for a period of time, basically whatever works for you according to your goals. If you are looking for meal plans, I do have them if you message me. I just created a two week plan for 30 bucks. I don't ever do two week plans, um, but I am doing that and I have some new four week and eight week programs coming out. So shoot me an email, thrifttime at gmail.com and I can help you out on that. I'm also an online personal trainer and an in-person personal trainer if you're looking for that. But understanding eventually you're going to start adding carbohydrates back in is the ultimate idea of the Atkins diet. You have to understand that this is not going to be something that you're going to do forever for most people. You also have to understand that it's very, very specific on how you come back into it. You can't go from 12 carbs a day to 500 carbs a day and you're like, well, I wasn't eating 500 carbs. Ye damn sure probably were, and it's not that hard to eat 500 grams of carbs, okay? That's literally only like 2,000 calories, and 90% of our diets are made up of bad carbohydrates. Like, it really is not that difficult to eat 500 grams of carbs. So, that being said, you have to understand that you're gonna go through different phases. As you get closer to your goal weight, you'll start adding some carbohydrates back in, and eventually you'll find a carbohydrate, carbohydrate threshold in which you will find out what's sustainable for you. So it could be 100 carbs, it could be 20 carbs, it could be 50 carbs, it could be 5,000, it's not gonna be 5,000, but realistically, it could be all over the board. The other thing that you have to understand is that it is extremely specific. When you follow Atkins and you are getting into induction phase and you're on keto in ketosis, you have to stay there, okay? So your body has a choice to make every single day when it wakes up. It says, am I going to burn carbs for fuel or am I going to burn fat for fuel? Well, if you have predominantly carbohydrates in your body, it's going to burn that. If you have predominantly fat inside your body, it's going to burn that. But unfortunately, the reason it is so strict is if you have that high fat content and then you're eating carbohydrates on top of that, you're just going to get double fat. You're just going to gain twice as much weight. So be careful about that. The other thing is that you also need to make sure that you are not eating too many calories, okay? If you are a big volume eater, maybe you need to focus more on vegetables and making sure you're getting your fiber intake and stuff like that. But a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to go to keto, I'm going to go Atkins or whatever, and then I'm going to not so much worry about um, the calories, I'm just going to worry about my carbohydrates. Listen, fat is going to be calorically dense times 2.2 or whatever. So there's 9 calories per gram for fat, 4 for carbs, and 4 for protein. So you're going to pick up calories a lot faster, whether it's a piece of cheese like this big and it's 110 calories. And maybe, you know, you got a pile of carbohydrates before. So you have to understand that 
either you're all in or just don't do it because one of your fuel sources has to be high, one of them has to be low in order to be able to maintain or drop weight or do whatever that you're trying to do. <clears throat> the other thing is get rid of the stuff that's inside your house. I have to stir my food, sorry. Get rid of the stuff that's inside your house and don't limit that to only being things like you know, Rice Krispie Treats or brownies or whatever. You really, 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 really got to start looking closely at exactly what it is that you eat because it makes a really big difference. If it is something like your sauces and stuff like that, I know it sounds stupid, but to make it a little bit extreme, let's see here. These are just some random sauce packets, okay? Or this is a random sauce packet, okay? So if you look on the back here, you got 10 calories and two carbohydrates. That's potentially like a meal if you're on a low carb approach. So you have to really understand that not there's, there's so many low carb and Atkins options out there now that you don't have to like stress on it too much compared to what you did maybe five years ago because there is seasonings, there is sauces that you can do. Um, but even here, you think, oh, I'm just eating tuna, ginger, sesame, tuna, whatever. Well, on the back, as you can see, it's got four carbohydrates and it is, uh, total sugars is four. And then you have total sugars is one. But then on the other end of the spectrum, you can come over here and grab like some sugar raised barbecue sauce or whatever. And you could probably fit this in 10 carbs or 10 calories, two carbs. But remember, in induction phase, I don't want to say that you want to be completely like horribly bland, but I will say the more restrictive that you are in the beginning, the better you are going to get at understanding how the process works. It does not mean that you have to suffer by any means. I'm sorry, I'm trying to cook breakfast. But you do have to kind of like pretend you're getting a job. Why is this damn thing not open? Pretend you're getting a job at the local supermarket, right? And you're like, well, eventually, Jonathan, I want to be the manager of the supermarket. Here's the thing. If you've never been a manager, when you go in to get that job, the first thing they're going to ask you is, have you ever been a manager? And the first thing you're probably going to tell them is, no. No, I've never been a manager, so I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. So it's a very similar in the process of something like Atkins because if you've never lost 50 or 100 pounds or never tried to even remotely figure out what nutrition means for you, which a lot of us don't because nobody pays attention in high school, we were doing other things and it did not involve proper nutrition at the very least. So. What I mean is you have to walk before you crawl. With nutrition and more specifically with Atkins or anything, you have to say, okay, what are the basics? I have to get 12 to 15 grams of net carbohydrates through foundation vegetables. What does that mean? Just low carb vegetables, that's all that means. And then I can fluff up to from 18 to 22 grams of net carbohydrates through things like eggs and cheese and um, different creams and stuff like that. They'll all have like a, a one or two grams of carbohydrates. It could even be like the meat if you're using like sausage or something like that. So, and then you want to start worrying about your other macros. Your carbohydrates, you want to be at 5%. Your um, protein, you want to be at 25%. And then your fat, you want to be at 70%. Now, don't quote me. Everybody may take a different approach. That's just Atkins induction, okay? You could do like modified Atkins for like bodybuilding or something like that. And you could throw in some more carbohydrates and you could pump it up just a little bit. But I would say if you have not ever done it before, 
and you don't know what you're doing, that is literally the best starting point. If you don't start at the most basic version and stay there for an extended period of time, you really are going to set yourself up for failure. And I don't want to see people do that because then people are like, oh, I tried Atkins or I tried keto or I tried paleo or I tried the Mediterranean diet or I tried Weight Watchers or I tried Slim Fast or whatever and it doesn't work. 90% of people you're just consuming shit on top of shit. Stop eating like shit when you're trying to diet, if that makes sense. Many people will cook their food, make their food, even go as far as eating their food and then go eat more food that is not on their diet on top of it. So you are getting fat on fat on fat. So be very careful about understanding that you want to get your training wheels moving before you try to get creative. Get the basics out of the way and then go forward. The other thing is that you have to understand that if you don't see your body moving, it's probably because you're not, okay? So as your body changes, whether it's the physical size, whether it's the, the density, whether it's the number on the scale, whether it's the measurements, whatever it is that's changing will hit a point to where it won't change eventually. And it's not like, oh, I haven't weighed, my weight hasn't changed for four days, Jonathan. I'm not sure what's going on. Shut the hell up. Four days is not a big deal, okay? I would venture to say even like, if it goes a week or two, then probably change something. But so many people want to sit on their effing ass and think, I'm not losing weight. I'm not sure what's going on. Get your ass up and move. Like... Get your ass up and do some exercise. If you got 50 pounds off without doing a fucking thing, then you probably need to go and do some exercise now. Cool, you got 50 pounds for free. Guess what, the 20 that you're waiting for is probably not going to be. So be happy that you got what you got. But now if your body gets to a point to where it's like resting on those calories and it's like, I'm good with it or whatever, I wouldn't constantly take away from your calories. Just try to increase your exercise. What's the worst case scenario? You're gonna get fucking healthy? Oh my gosh, you mean I'm skinny and I'm healthy? Why would I wanna do that, Jonathan? Yeah, you would, and you should. And if you don't, why the fuck are you losing weight, stupid? Okay, so keep your shit together. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you like our videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel, it really does help. I promise you, like the button or I'm going to come over there. I'm going to slap that fucking donut right out of your mouth. Play with me. But aside from that, if you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Thank you so much for all that you guys do. Keep up the good work. Remember, you are your own worst enemy, but you're also, also, also the only person that can make a change and move yourself in a positive direction in your life. Be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Hashtag Team Boo. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.